So today we're going to the Oasis Animal Park. Um, they've got lots of exciting and exotic animals. Penny does like her elephants and her giraffes, and they have both. Are you ready to see some animals? Yeah. Yeah. So we just got to the wildlife park and as we've been walking past some of the windows on the way in, some of the shop windows, they've got cuddly toys of elephants and stuff and Penny naturally gravitated towards the window and didn't want to leave the elephants so I think we might have to get her an elephant. We managed to tear her away from the window and ventured into the kingdom of animals. This is a beautifully designed place, lots of like forestry and greenery just to hide a lot of the paths. Like the paths are obvious, but it feels very sort of like, feels very wild. Oasis Wildlife Park is a wonderful day out for the family with plenty of tropical plants and animals to enjoy. There's a playground on site, some restaurants, plenty of shows, and is home to Europe's largest camel reserve. The wildlife they have here is much more exotic than a lot of the other places I've been to, which makes for more interesting viewing as well as learning a little bit more about these creatures. Coming up to lunch time, Penny's starting to get a little bit agitated, so we put her back in the push chair. Because all she does is wander off, trying to rock climb and pick up sticks and stuff. Which is fine, but we haven't even got to the good animals yet. I think once she sees like camels and elephants and stuff, and giraffes, I think she'll be a bit happier. But it's just like, come on, let's just get to that bit. It didn't take long before she got to burn some energy in the playground. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah, watch your head, Penny. Mind your head. Ready? Three. Two, one. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> you beat the sheep. Let's do it again. Bah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Try again, Penny. 
Oh, did you need my love your finger? Come on, sheep. Good girl. Do you want me to feed the sheep? Oh, nice sheep. After we ate lunch, we continued exploring the park and found some of the bigger animals. Say hello hippos. Hello hippos. Hello zebras. Hello daddies. <laughs> you called me a hippo. Wild as well. This is probably the closest experience to an African safari as we'll get without actually going on one. I'm not sure how common it is to be able to go to a park like this and feed giraffes, but normally it's a very like exclusive VIP thing to pay for, if they even allow it. Here's part of the ticket price. It's amazing. This has to be one of the highlights of the day for us all. Seeing them up close like this, let alone feed them, is extremely fascinating. Getting a true sense of their size, their colours and, and gentle nature reminded me of the scene from Jurassic Park when the kids feed a Brachiosaurus the morning after they're attacked by a T-Rex. Thankfully no T-Rex is here. While you may think giraffes are some of the most well-known wild animals across the savannah, they are also a vulnerable species, meaning that it is threatened with extinction unless conditions improve. This could be down to habitat loss or issues with reproduction. Places like Oasis Animal Park help create a safe environment for these gentle giants. What animal is that over there, the big one? Elephant. And what does an elephant do? As Oasis has the largest camel reserve in Europe, and surprisingly, it's popular amongst visitors to take a 30 minute camel ride around the site. Given the look of some of these camels, I'd want to stay away from these faces. Ooh, especially this guy. So we're just on our way to get some ice cream. Uh, that was just absolutely scorching right now. And uh, when you're walking around here, you don't get a lot of breeze now and again, so it's just like baking. So definitely, definitely time for ice cream. Oh, yes. Have you got there, Penny? Ice cream. What flavour ice cream? Technically, it's Kit Kat flavour. Oh, Kit Kat flavour. It's gone half past three now. We're gonna just try and wrap it up a little bit. You know, Penny hasn't had a nap today. Um, yeah, her legs are probably burnt out by now. So they're having one last little run at the park and then we're gonna head off out back to the hotel. We found a wild cockroach. Oh no, he's got me.
With Penny getting a little restless, we swiftly made our way through to the park's exit and headed back to our accommodation. Before we arrived, we made a quick stop at the shop. Penny, I love you. I love you more. Oh, <laughs> you are sweet. Naturally, she conked out after a long day, and so did we.